Zach who? <laughs> yeah. Zach, uh, <coughs> Zach did a nice job for us early in the season. He was more of a relief pitcher, and we've been trying to, you know, build his maturity and confidence level up. And uh, so he was doing that and doing a real good job for us in relief. Um, and then we decided to kind of switch roles, I think, with Scotty Firth and and, uh, and Clay, Clay was struggling a little bit, so we decided to, to give Zach an opportunity. He's pitched well for us. He's deceptive. He's got feel of a breaking ball, change up, fastball. Um, all the runners on pretty good, which is a good thing tomorrow. Um, but he's done a nice job for us. He hasn't got hit a lot. When he gets into trouble, it's usually because it, it causes his own trouble, maybe walking a guy. And so he's got to throw strikes, let us play behind him. And if he does that, he's, he's going to be good for us. With the decision to go with Zach, you know, folks are going to be thinking, well, Jack is saving gossip for a, a potential South Carolina meeting on Saturday. Is, is that correct? No. <laughs> we just figured, like, at some point, your pitchers have to pitch. you got to have two, three, four starting pitchers that have to pitch. And so what you try to figure out, maybe what your best matchup is in the first game, who you might play in the second game, try to figure that out. Um, I think, you know, Zach's pitched well for us. We've got a lot of confidence in what he can do. Um, like the fact he holds running game on pretty well. Um, and Liberty runs pretty well. So <clears throat> we just felt like that was going to be a good, good matchup for us. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm with these guys. We talked about it. <clears throat> We're not overlooking anybody and not trying to get past anybody to get to anybody. Um, we're just interested in trying to win this first ball game and trying to figure out the best way to win this tournament. I think that's the best best way to put it. Jack, do you, um, you knew you had a young team coming in. Uh, was there a point during the season, maybe a turning point, where you saw them kind of grow up? Was it the, in the North Carolina series? Uh, it really was. It's probably the last game we played at North Carolina on ESPNU on that Monday. We came back and we won the ball game and... and uh, one run ball game and that catapulted us I think we won 11 in a row after that maybe dropped a, a game and then got another roll and and really played very well since that day that's probably our last 35 ball games and uh, so that might have been a turning point for us I think and so our young guys have been they've been very, very mature from the day they showed up on campus very motivated very hungry didn't take anything for granted didn't expect anything if they're going to hand it anything, they, they've worked hard for everything they've earned uh, that they've gotten. And uh, Tyler Krieger is going to be a really good player for us. Duggar is going to be a really good player for us. Matthew Crowner has been good for us all year long. Hopefully he's healthy, pitch this weekend. Um, and, you know, Zach, Zach Irwin has been good for us. Uh, Jackson Campana, Brody, uh, Clayton Smith, you know, Brody Kerner, all these guys, uh, Malik Gibson. Uh, Kevin Bradley, they're all going to be good young freshmen. They're, they're good players now, but they're really going to be a good nucleus for this team in the future. And, and uh, they've all had some really good moments this year. And you know, some of them have had some freshman moments, but for the most part, you know, they're a really good nucleus of this ball club. But I think they bring our older guys to another place too because they do work hard. They, they're not they're not out there thinking they deserve to have something without earning it. And so I, I like their attitudes right from the very beginning. I think they've been a good part of a good component of this team. And um, I think Thomas hit it right on the nose that, you know, we've matured as the season's gone on. The last 35 games, we've taken on another identity, I think a more confident identity. And we've played in some very tough ball games. You know, we've lost four or five ball games in a row, but, you know, we went down to Florida State and beat them the first game, lost a two-to-one game against a really good pitcher, Weaver, lost a tough game on Sunday, lost against a really good North Carolina State ball club uh, in the first game of the ACC tournament, lost a heartbreaker to North Carolina, who's – was as good a team as we played all year long, and so we played them, you know, very tough in the four games we played them. Uh, if we win that one, I think that was a, it's a big, you know, we, we may not be sitting here. Um, so that was a, that was a big game for us. And then uh, Miami's got some of the best pitching we've seen, you know, all year long. And so we played some good opponents, and the ACC has been very tough this year, and maybe as tough as I've ever seen it, you know, since I've been in.